In this video, we're going to look for patterns while we solve this puzzle. This is puzzle number 86, a difficult puzzle from Expert Sudoku by Nikolai Publishing. At the end of this video, I'm going to give you another tip, uh, a quick way to uh, jump between programs if you're on a Windows computer. And so stay tuned for that. Well, let's get started. Um, at, at first, I'm going to just go through sections and look for the numbers 1 through 9. And you'll notice that we don't, you know, this puzzle doesn't yield very many numbers when we do that, but it'll help us find some um, some patterns and some twins that will help us uh, solve more, find more numbers later. Okay, we'll just start with one. Now you notice that with these two ones in box two, there are only two cells that can hold a one. So the one is constrained to only two cells. Now if I can find another number in this row and in this column where these ones are already um, that isn't in this box already then we would have twins here we have a one here and if we had a nine if this nine were moved over here we'd have one nine twins here but in this case we don't and we'll we'll find better examples of that in in a minute so okay so one here in box three, a one can only be in three cells. This one, this one, or this one. But we don't have any more numbers here. If we had two other numbers here and two other numbers here, and they were the same, we could find triplets. Okay, let's look here. We got a one here and a one here. So one of these is a one. Let's see if we can find another number. Okay, we got a seven here, a one and a seven. We got a one and a seven here. So these are one seven twins. This is the diagonal pattern, which um, was the subject of the just the very last video, uh, Sudoku Primer video number one fifty. If you want to learn more about the di diagonal pattern, so we have one seven twins here. Okay, we'll remember that. We can't solve them right now, but we'll remember that. One one. Okay, we got three cells. Only three cells where one can fit in box five here. We only have one other number. We have a four. And the four can fit in any of these four cells. So we can't find triplets there. Okay, there's a one there. One, one. Okay, three places a one can fit, but we only have one number. Okay, here, the one can only fit in this cell or this cell we don't have another number that's the same in this row and in this column. We got a 7 and a 5 here and a 9 here. So we can't find twins there. Okay, that's kind of what I'm going to be doing. So I just want to introduce how I was doing that. 2, 2, 2. Okay, there's three places a 2 can go, but there's only one more number here. Two can go in only, a two is constrained to these two cells in box seven here, but we don't have another number that's the same in the row and column. Okay, three. Here we have a, a three, another diagonal pattern. We have a five here and a five here, so we have three five twins here. Let me write those down. We, we found one seven twins in box four, and now we found three five twins in box three. Okay. All right, so three, three five twins there. Okay, three. Here we only, a three can only fit in one of these three cells. We only have one other number here. With three cells, we'd need two other numbers in order to find triplets here. Okay, 
four. Okay, a four can fit in one of these two cells, and we have a eight and a six here, but we have a six here. So these are four six twins here. Okay, so four six twins in box one. All right. Okay, four. Here we only have two cells of four can fit in. We have an eight here, but no eight here, so we can't find four eight twins there. All right, and a four there. Okay, fives. Okay, there's a five. And look, that's one of our three five twins, so we can put in the three right there. And let's see, we had a 1 here, and a 5 and a 7. Now we have a 1 and a 5 here, and a 1 and a 5 here. So we have 1, 5 twins here, and we can solve them. So, okay. And now let's see, we've got a 9, a ghost 9's here. And ghost sevens here. They're not. I don't think they can help us right now. But let's see if we can find any more ones here. There's a one. There's a one. Okay. Let's see if we can find any more fives. Five there. So there's a five there. So. Okay. All right. So let's see. We were on fives when we found that the twins there, which helped us find a few more numbers. Okay, sixes. Got a six in one of these two. Six, six. Here's uh, here a six is constrained to these two cells. We only have a nine here, and we don't have a nine there. Okay, so we can't find twins there. Okay, sevens. Seven twins there. Seven. All right. Okay, eight. Got an eight here. Okay, it looks like an eight can fit in here or here in any of those four cells. But if you remember, we have four six twins here, so the eight is constrained to column two here. So 8, 8, 8. And now I've got an 8. This can't be an 8 because of the ghost 8's there. Eight, eight, eight. Okay, one of these is an 8 and we have ghost 8's there so we know that's an 8 right there. And with this eight, we got two, three, and five in this row right here. Uh, we got a five already, but so these are two, three twins, and we can solve them. And that leaves one, six, nine. One, six, nine here. We can't solve those. Let's see what else is left here. We know. We know these three numbers because we know these three. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Four, seven, and eight. Seven, eight, four, seven, eight, four, seven. Okay. Okay, and I just 
noticed a, a three can fit there because we filled in these two threes here. Okay, and now this entire row except for this box is filled. So we know these two numbers. Let's see, we got one, three, five, eight, one, three, five, eight, and two, seven. So these are two and seven, and we can solve them. All right, now we know, let's see, we know that these were four, seven, and eight. So these are four eights now. We can solve those. And now with that, we've got one, four twins right here. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine here. We can't solve any of those yet. All right, now we got a twos here. So one of these is a two, but we remember remember these are four six twins. So we can solve that two there. And let's see, I think we have a three here too. Yeah, three. Okay, now we have, let's see what we have left here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, seven, eight, and nine left there. Okay. We're only missing seven and nine here. We can solve those. Okay. Now we have four, six twins here and seven, eight twins there. With these ghost sevens here, we got a seven there, seven. That's a seven right there. And that's a seven right there. Okay. Okay, now we have a, oh, these are our one seven twins, if you remember, that we found right at the beginning. So we can solve the one. Can we solve this yet? Let's see. Two, two, one, five, seven. Nope, we can't solve that one yet. Now I got a one there. These were one, six, and nine, so we can solve the six and nine. Now with this six, we can solve the four six twins we found at the beginning in box one. I don't think we can solve the seven eights yet. And now with this six here, we got six nine twins right here. So these are one, two, five, seven, Two, five, and seven there. So we can solve the five there. And there's a five here we can solve. All right, now remember we have six, nine twins here. And these are six, seven, and nine, and we can't solve them, but with the six nines here, we know one of these is a nine. Because of the ambiguity rule, we know that's a six, because these can't be six nines. And so we can we can finish solving those and those. Now we can also solve. There's a one, two, seven there. And solve those now. Okay. Okay, 
now we know that's a four right there. And a four there. We've got ghost nines here, so we know that's a nine. see what we're missing here. 3, 4, 6, 8. 3, 4, 6, 8. So that's a 4 right there. And those were 1, 4 twins. We could have solved those with that 1, but I didn't notice them at the time. Okay, now we're missing 3, 6, and 8 here. Okay, let's see. 3 and a 6 there, so that's an 8. So we have 3 and 6 left there. What are we missing here? Looks like a 2. So these are 3 and 6 here. Okay, now we can solve the 7, 8 twins we had in box 1 there. And here I think we got 2, 8 here. We can solve those. Okay, let's look at this row right here and see what we're missing. We have 3, 8's missing here. Three. 6, 8, 9. There's a 3, 6, and an 8, so that's a 9. Okay, now we're missing 3, 6, and 8. 6, 8, 3, 6, 3, 8. Can't solve those yet. Let's look at this column 9 here. Missing 2 and 4. So that's a 4 there. Some of these numbers I'm not really explaining. I'm finding them pretty e easily, so I'm not explaining why, because I figure you understand why I got them. But if you don't, please leave a comment, and I'll answer, try and answer your questions. 3, let's look at this column here. 3, 6. 3 and 6 are missing there now. That's a 9 right there. Six, 6 and 8 are missing there. So we can solve these 3 and 8's three there now. And the 3 6's. And that's it. Alright, well. Looking for patterns can help you find twins and triplets pretty quickly and pretty easily. Uh, you can even find uh, quadruplets and quintuplets sometimes. They're less rare, or more rare, I guess I should say. Um, but uh, that helped us make really good progress on this puzzle and get a good jump on it, and then we we're able to solve it pretty quickly. So. Well, I promised a tip at the at the uh, beginning of this video. If you want to switch between two um, applications on your PC, uh, you can you can hold the Alt key down and hit the Tab key, and then you can find the all the different uh, applications that are open in a window that pops up then you can just hold the alt key down and just keep repeatedly hit the tab key and you can cycle through all the the windows that are open at the time and then when you go when you get to the window that you want or the application that you want you just let go of the alt key and you'll you'll be in that application so sometimes you'll want to switch back and forth between applications when you're working on uh, something 
and that alt tab makes it work pretty easily you can also um, hold the shift key down with the alt key and then hit tab and you'll go backwards through the list so alt shift tab goes backwards through the list so try those out um, and thank you for watching and I'll talk to you on the next video.